More local news now from poverty to the top of her field tonight. An inside look at the life of Chief Justice Maxine White. She talked with our Carol Meekins about her childhood, overcoming racism and the driving force behind her success. Favorite food? Turnip greens. <laughs> the last person you texted? My husband. Your guilty pleasure? Good coffee. Your favorite movie? The Incredibles. Your favorite song is the go-to song? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> what was your biggest achievement, do you think, in life? My child. She's one of the most influential women in Milwaukee County. Are there any other matters connected to it in the system? No. Okay. During her 24 years working in the court system, Chief Judge Maxine White has watched our nation evolve from the bench, but she remembers a different America as a child. It was pretty hard. I grew up in the rural South, uh, heavy segregation, um, hard economic times. White was the eighth of 11 children. She was born in the Deep South. Her first job, a sharecropper in Mississippi. Until I graduated high school, I picked cotton. Uh, and even after going off to college, I uh, picked up pecans and did cotton in the summers and to help the family and to make a living. But with the tough times, her parents gave her a gift, the confidence to get through law school with honors. So they encouraged us to work hard, work smart, um, have a nice, nice life and help everyone else that we could. Your father taught you how to be reasonable right. and to argue right. fairly. Right. White knows many of the young people facing the court system today lack the nurturing she got. We were protected by our parents. Yeah. We were loved unconditionally by them. And despite the outside world and its limitations on our reach, they made us think internally that we were worth everything that God created that was available to us. This Marquette University Law School grad has earned numerous awards, including the Wisconsin Bar Association Judge of the Year. She's troubled by recent racial tensions, but she is quick to acknowledge the progress. Because of the color of my skin, I was denied access to many of the things we take for granted today. So we've come such a long way in America. Her advice for surviving life's inequities? I tell people, uh, use your energy of your, your disgust and your outrage, channel it in the right way and get even. You know, find uh, ambassadors of goodwill who are like-minded people who want to do what's right for everybody and channel that energy that way. Judge, this is an e-file that we received today. This legal warrior with a warm and winning smile finds peace away from the bench through contemplation and gratitude. I meditate and silently without opening my mouth I thank God for all of his goodness and for giving me an opportunity to have another day to do something good. Carol Meekins, today's TMJ4. And she has done a lot of good. Judge White was the first person in her entire family to graduate from college.